hi all welcome to sonus kb and today we are going to see how we can use shared volume in containers in docker so i'm using my wsl for docker and here is my docker container you can see i do not have any container running right now so in this demo i'm going to create two containers and this docker desktop is integrated with ubuntu with wsl if you want to learn how to install wsl and docker so you can refer my video which is the link given below in this description box or you can get it from the details so here i have my ubuntu running as a wsl instance and as i can see i do not have any docker container running right now and I do not have any volume created now I'm creating my first volume docker volume create sonus kb wall so look at this now my volume is created this volume I'm going to map with two different containers let us verify this uh, volume by running the command which I just ran and from the GUI here it will take some time so we will ignore this by GUI method but as you can see in the background I have this volume created local sonus kb wall so this is the volume which I am going to use I am going to launch my first container with this command and I am going to map it with the name shared volume because this volume is going to be shared between two different containers so this is the command let's ds uh, docker ps dash a right now i do not have any docker container running now i'm running this command to create my first container and with mapped volume shared volume sonus kb wall which we have just created and my container name is my container dash one so this is my first container which i'm going to create right now so this ubuntu latest is not available locally so it is going to be download from the hub so image is downloaded and my container is also L now i'm in this container because we have run the command at creation time that we will enter into the this container this docker ps a won't work here because we are in our container so we have to exit from here then run this command we can verify this by pwd as we can see this we are in the root directory so we are in the container which we have just created now we have to exit from here just verify that whether we have the shared volume mapped or not look at this shared volume is mapped and now we are going to exit from this now as we have seen the uh, shared volume now it is time to it is time to put some data in this shared volume so that we can check same data in the second container so let's put some data here so we are still in my first container here I'm going to create one file first verify the path it is there slash shared volume so I went into shared volume now I'm putting this subscribe to sonus kb in a text file echo echo subscribe to sonus kb so skb dot text file will we are going to create now i think file is created here is the file the file is now in the shared volume we can check it cat skb.txt so this is the content which we have written here from the container one now we are going to exit from here for exiting the container we have to press ctrl p q and this will exit from the container now we are in the powershell prompt now we are going to create our second container with name my container 
dash 02 and we are going to map same shared volume which we had created earlier now this is the name of the volume and the is the path and the container name is my container dash 02 and we are going to run ubuntu now we are in the our second in container df dash h here is the shared volume so this shared volume is mapped in both the container and now we can see the file is here we can check here is the text which we have written so this is shared between both of the container as we are in the second container now we are going to write some more stuff in this file here we are going to echo like this video and share and put into skb.txt so we are expanding the text in the same file so that we can verify and as you can see this is file is going to be shared with between both the containers here it is now i'm putting some more content in this file from my second container here after putting this command I press enter and now verify it again see both the content uh, content is here which i have written from the container one and container two so this is done here so now we have to delete these uh, container one and container two so that we can verify this the the volume that we have shared between two containers the data is persist there so here is the volume which we have created and this is the GUI which I was talking about so from here I can check the data in that particular volume and the mapping of this into two different containers so and in data tab I can see the file which we have just created I can verify this data by saving it to my disk windows disk here I can save it and verify the data now I'm putting it in some path and opening the file look at this the file is opening in windows as well so from my both the containers this is what I have written and this is shared between both the containers now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to delete these two containers and verify that whether the data is persist or not after deleting those containers from docker let's do it now so let's exit from here not exit we have to press ctrl p q so that we can return to the host machine or we can return to the powershell prompt so this is what i had did ctrl p q now I'm in PowerShell. Let's verify these two containers are running. Still running because we have exit from control PQ. These two containers are running. Now I'm going to delete these containers. The data is verified in both the container. Now I'm going to delete so that we can verify the data persist or not. So for this I'm going to put some command. This is the this these are the command which I'm going to use, stop the container and remove the container so both the container will be removed from here and we will verify the volume after deleting these two containers where we have mapped our shared volume so it will take some time because it's going to stop container one then it's going to remove container one then it's going to stop the container two and it's going to remove the container two which we just created so wait for it now remove the second container now verify that these two containers are deleted look at this i have nothing running here now now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create my third container and verify the volume volume is still there so i have deleted those two containers but my volume is still here so I'll check my data is there or not for this I'm going to create one more docker container and going to map my same volume sonus kb wall 
with shared volume folder here is the command it will take seconds to launch my third container and we will verify our data from here now my container is created third container is created i'm in root now and let's verify the volume shared volume df dash h so here is my volume so i'm going to enter into this shared volume and verify my file my file is still here and wow data is also here so after deleting those container my data is intact or persist after deleting those containers we are going to exit from here with the same control p q and that's it thank you for watching this video hope you enjoyed this and subscribe to my channel and if you want to learn how to use docker please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching bye bye